talked about there was a sign in the locker room about last year's score. And so how much of a chip does that leave on your old shoulder when that, when you see that? How big was that throughout the offseason in terms of motivation? Yeah, we had a huge chip on our shoulder coming into this game. You know, we wanted to make a statement, you know, that how good of a football team we actually are. Um, and then when we do our job and do the things we're coached to do, um, we can be a really good football team. Derek, it looked like you had some fire on some of those throws. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if I use the word dart a lot, but you had some darts in there today. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the last two weeks I've just been throwing it really well. Uh, the best I've been throwing it this season. Got to ask you about the one mistake you made all day. I mean, what goes through your head when you release that pass and you see the defender like coming in to jump that route? Yeah, there's no really worse feeling in the world than, you know, just a ball up in the air that gets picked for going the other way. Um, but, you know, I just got to be smarter. Got to I kind of threw it like blindish. Um, I had a flat route that was open that I passed by. Um, just didn't do what I was coached to do on that play and you know, kind of got me. Could have gotten out of hand after that, but instead I think you responded with three consecutive touchdown drives of that. So how does that make you feel and how, how are you guys able to do that as an offense? Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I've always worked on when I got here is just playing the next play. My dad's always taught me um, growing up, play the next play. Um, Coach Brown tells us take it one play at a time. And, you know, I just try to, try to do that. Uh, when you throw a pick or throw a touchdown, you can't get too high, can't get too low. It helps to have a guy who can reach up to the sky to catch a ball in the back of the end zone and then tap his toe. Yeah. How about that catch that? Uh, yeah, it was a made? pretty sweet catch. Uh, good, good to see Bryce make some plays like that. Um, he's put in a lot of work this offseason. Um, it's good to see him shine on the field. Walk me through that play. What did you see? Did you? I mean, I assume with his height, you intentionally try to put that up there. Did you think he had a chance to come down with that? Yeah, I mean, uh, the corner was like on his low hip, kind of in front of him. So I kind of just let it in the back of the end zone where Bryce could get it or no one could get it. And, you know, he really made a great catch to get his toe down. Um, it's pretty awesome. Jared, when y'all huddled on the field after getting off the bus and the man trip, somebody, I think it was you, said this game is going to be four quarters. Yeah. We've got to keep playing no matter what. Did you have that in your mind the whole way? Do you think that helped the team, you know, play through that and respond so many times? Yeah, I mean, that's just something we talked about all week. We knew it was going to be a four-quarter game, and it was going to take every single one of us doing our job. Um, it was going to be hard fought um, because Iowa State, you know, they're – a very detailed and physical football team. We got to beat them at their own game, and that's how we won today. Jared, along those lines, they can really take things away from teams and make you do maybe what you don't want to do. It seemed like you all just attack what they like to do, and that develops confidence. How much fun, how much of a difference was it actually go out and do what you wanted to do to them? Yeah, it's pretty cool. We had a game plan. You know, we stuck with it the whole the whole game. I was seeing it well. Uh, we were running the ball well. You know, everyone was just doing their job on the offense and. You know, I think we're a pretty lethal offense when, you know, everyone's clicking. Part of that, you had clean pockets both last week and this week. How much credit has to go to the offensive line for what they did? Yeah, I give them a lot of credit. I think there's great chemistry, um, accountability uh, within that unit. Um, they really hold themselves to a high standard of how they want to play with tough and phys being tough and physical. Um, you know, hats off to those guys. They're, they're working hard and they're playing really well. You guys have been a part of some nail-biting games this year, especially with the defense out on the field late, sometimes not able to you know, get it done at the end. But today, to be on the sideline watching them get that big sack from Dante and then stopping them on fourth down, what was that like just on the sidelines for you guys? I mean, yeah, it's pretty crazy when you get to run on the field on the last play of the game. Pretty awesome. But, um, you know, we believe in our defense, and I think they're you know, the best defense in the, in, the, in the league, and Iowa State comes second is um, more nerve-wracking being on the field in pressure situations or, or watching your defense from the sideline when you can't really do anything about it? I would say on the sidelines because you're just hoping and praying out there. You don't, when you're in the, in the game, you're just thinking about your job. Um, but when you're on the sidelines, you're just hoping and praying. Back to 500 now, four games left. You guys, I mean, you had to win at least four of the last six, but I guess your guys' goal was, you said, to go 6-0 and yeah. one week at a time. So how do you guys move on from here and put this one behind you to get ready for the, the home stretch? Yeah, we got to come back in tomorrow, watch the film, learn from our mistakes, you know, and get back to work next week, practice harder, and keep preparing um, to go 1-0 on next week. Jerry, you said you would tune out the noise, but just how good has the last two weeks been? Really good. I'm in a great state of mind. I'm confident right now uh, in what I'm doing. Um, I know my teammates believe in me, and I believe in them. 
and my coaches believe in me, and that's all I can ask for. It um, doesn't really matter what goes out, goes out, uh, happens outside this building. Um, as long as these guys believe in me, um, I'll continue to to uh, prepare and work hard. Okay. Anything else for Jared? All right. Thank you very much. See you.